Hey guys, long time no see. Um, yeah, it's been a long time since I made a video and I am very sorry. I have just been really busy. I've been trying to, I said this in my last video too, I've just been really trying to get my business going and I've been working really hard at that and it's kind of been non-stop but the good thing is um, a lot of opportunities have come about because of it and because of my YouTube channel so I'm really happy about that and I will be starting to make more regular videos um, probably in the area of two a week um, depending on what's going on and what the finances look like one of them might be a haul and then one of them might be um, a project share or something like that so I wanted to yeah I wanted to just start and share with you guys that little bit of information you'll hear more about that as uh, things get rolling and um, I want to share with you a haul today. I have a bunch of stuff from some Blitzy hauls that I have gotten over the course of the last probably month that I never was able to share because I just didn't have time to make a video. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I finished out my Distress Marker collection and I got the rest of them when they had them. Um, I was able to pick up all of the Distress Markers from Blitzy. Yay! And um, so now I have a full collection. And guess what? I haven't used a one of them yet. Uh, but that's going to change probably in the next week or so. <laughs> um, I also picked up this Glitz paper pack. This was like last week, I think. And um, it's got some really cool papers in it. This is Happy Travels. And you can see from the front, uh, they're kind of uh, distressed vintage patterns, like old, um, like this looks like old wallpaper, like kitchen wallpaper. And then there's some polka dots and some... Um, stripes and some these are really cool airplanes those are really neat um, if you don't have this collection by glitz it's really cool and it's not only just about travel you can use it for other things the paper is only single-sided though and just in case you were wondering um, but it is pretty cool and there is lots of uses for this I got it mostly for cards um, but I will try and probably make a couple small maybe like a mini or something with it and then the week that they had that glitz they also had some other glitz paper that I was absolutely in love with and you guys probably picked up some of this too because it's really cool. I got this paper here. Um, this is pretty in pink stripe in the back and then it has fab fabulous on the front. So it's a like a dark uh, brown and cream colored stripe on the front and then pink and white ticking on the back which is really cool. I got that one. I got a lot of this because I have plans for it. I'm going to actually be making flowers for my Etsy shop with it. Love the pink toile. Who doesn't love toile? And and pink, it's even better. And it's nice and distressed around the edges. I really like that a lot. And then just a pink kind of uh, mottled background. So I got some of that. And then I also got this one. This has like the gray and the black mottled back. Um, and then it has the damask on the front. And I love that pattern. It's so pretty. And then I also got the paper that had like the book print around and, and then in a frame and then on the back it has um, a small like uh, fleur-de-lis on it which is really cool so I did pick those up and then a couple weeks ago and I'm not sure if I showed this in my last haul or not I might have um, this is probably like last month I got the um, spellbinder shape abilities with the dress forms so I've got a couple things coming up that I've done with that and then I also picked up the Tim Holtz Alterations, the pumpkin die. And it's already almost Halloween and I still haven't used this, but I'm hoping I'm going to get to use it for something for Thanksgiving. And then this past week they had, and I was so, so happy, they had the, um, this was actually last Friday, I think, they had the Tim Holtz Distress Inks in the fall colors, and I didn't get to get these last year. And this Gathered Twigs, I haven't used it yet, but it's a gorgeous brown color, and I love it, and I might even love it more than Vintage Photo. And then Ripe persim Persimmon, I think that's how you say that, and then Seedless Preserves, which is a cool purple. And then I just got the Distress Reinker for that Gathered Twigs because I know I'm going to be using it a ton, so I thought I'd pick that up right away. And then I also got the Cosmo Cricut um, Jolly Days stamps. And I love it, and I got it because it has this one here that says Made by an Elf That Loves You because I thought that would be great for tags. And then my friend um, Fran sent me these stamps I had paid bought these from her she had picked them up for me because she's got a store that sells them by her and there was some really cool Christmas ones so I got this French horn which is very cool and I've already made a Christmas tag with it and I'll show it to you and I think it came out really cool but I really love that I used um, another stamp from another stamp set that I have it says have yourself a merry little Christmas and then I used the um, 
Memento ink and it's the red color. I'm not sure which red it is. And then I used a Spellbinders dye to cut around it. And then of course I used the vintage photo and you can see the sparkle on there. Yep, that's my homemade glimmer mist that I used. You can see it really good right there. So uh, yeah, I'm going to put some uh, twine probably on this one and call it done. It's a really cool tag. If you're interested in purchasing these, they are going to be in my Etsy shop in probably like a couple days. And then I got these other stamps. This is a cool sleigh. I thought that was really neat. And then this one I got because I just, I love this tag. I already love this, this stamp. It says one good friend is better than 10 bad ones. And I just, I love that. I think that's so cool and so true. And then this really neat reindeer. And then another reindeer that kind of matches that sleigh. And then this kind of cool background. I thought that was really neat with the trees. Very cool. So I picked all that up and um, yeah, and I'm going to be having a haul from Top Hatter probably in the next couple days. It's uh, pretty cool. I got a ton of stuff and I'm just waiting for one more thing to come in and I'll go ahead and I'm going to, what I'll do is I'll probably link to all of the stores, all of the individual people that I purchased from on Top Hatter so that they can, you guys can go see them, if, especially if you see something that you like, uh, you, you know, you guys can head over to their shops because stuff is pretty reasonable. They're really great people and, uh, you know, it's really cool. So look for that sometime early next week. All right, guys, have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.